What's up, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Bearded IT Dad. Things to look for in a good LinkedIn profile. Having an impressive LinkedIn profile is crucial in today's digital world. So let's dive in and discover the 10 essential elements that will make your LinkedIn profile stand out from the crowd. And afterwards, we're going to be reviewing your LinkedIn profiles here on the show. So with that said, let's just dive right on in. The first most important thing when it comes to a good LinkedIn profile is a good professional photo. First impressions matter and your LinkedIn profile picture is a virtual handshake. Opting for a high quality professional image headshot that conveys confidence and approachability. Remember, it's the best, or remember it's best to use a picture where you're dressed in a line of work like the industry you're gonna be working in. So. Let's go ahead and for this beginning part, I'm just gonna be showing off my LinkedIn profile here and giving some pointers. Now, I'm gonna tell you my LinkedIn profile is not the greatest. So, you know, I'm gonna give you some pointers and some show you what I have on mine and give you some other advice. But you can see right off the bat here, I have a nice, clean, professional photo. I'm dressed in a nice polo shirt here. Uh, if you're looking to get a job in the tech industry, you're typically gonna be wearing a polo shirt or a button up shirt like I'm wearing. And you want a nice, clean uh, profile picture here. The very next thing you're gonna look for is an engaging headline. Your LinkedIn headline is like a virtual elevator pitch. Make sure it is clearly, or make sure it clearly states your professional intents and showcases your experience. And it also includes relevant keywords. Now this isn't the place to go loaded up with like buzzwords, industry bu buzzwords like AI and, you know, cloud computing and stuff like that. Uh, this is where you actually fill in the useful information. This also helps you appear in more searches. It makes it easier for other under to understand your current role and skills. So right here, you can see right here in my headline, this is the area we're talking about. Let me zoom in, make it easier for you. This is the headline. This and currently I'm a director of network operations at my day job. And I'm also the host of the bearded IT dad here on YouTube. So it is clear as day what I do here. Now, a lot of people will throw all their certifications they have and stuff in this spot. And that's fine, but you also don't wanna make it clutter. You wanna make it easy to read. And you know, it's it's gonna be different for everyone, depending like if you're already working in the field and you're looking to advance your career, or if you, know, you have no experience. If you have no experience, you're probably gonna put more of those certifications up there and try to make yourself more marketable. So the next very important thing, I see a lot of people skipping over this is have a compelling summary. The summary section is your opportunity to tell your professional story. Tell your background here. Keep it concise yet engaging and focus on what you bring to the table. Highlight your key accomplishments. Now, if we go down here, my about section, in all honesty, it's not very well filled out. Um, it is um, something similar to what I have on my YouTube, uh, but it's the truth. It talks about me. Technology is my passion. Helping other people is my purpose. Self-motivated, self-taught, and certified. I may only have one certification, but I'm certified. This is where you get to tell your story. This is where recruiters are gonna go to learn a little bit more about you, what you want in a career. This is where you have a great opportunity to let everyone know what you're all about, what you want to do with your career, what your past experience is. Now, speaking of past experience, let's dive into the detailed work experience. I see it time and time again, where my profile here is a great example. And for me, this is personally vague. I'm not looking for another job, but for you, you know, you don't want to just list your prior experience like I do here and don't say anything about what you do. As I said in one of my last videos, job titles in tech are super vague and yes, where my titles are a little bit more concise and a little bit more informative. I, you should still have this really well filled out. Your work experience section should be comprehensive and up to date, include relevant job titles, company names, and specific achievements in each role. Don't forget to qualify your accomplishments with measurable results whenever possible as well. 
you can see down here in my other job listings where I've actually gone into great detail about some of the things I've done in those roles. And that is a great thing to do because the very next thing people are going to look for is what kind of experience this person has. Experience is a lot of time king in the IT field. And if you don't have experience in tech, don't worry because customer service skills and your soft skills are still just as important, especially when you're starting out in the IT field. All right. Next, we're going to dive into skills and endorsements and recommend our skill endorsements and recommendations. Now, if you're just starting out in the field, don't be really worried about this section that if you don't have a lot of endorsements, I don't believe, see, I have skills and I do have some endorsements down here. These can be a little bit difficult to get when you're first starting out in the field. And these are more for when you're looking to advance your career and start to build your personal brand. They're great for that. Most of the time, people aren't just going to willy nilly start endorsing your skills. A lot of times you have to, you know, reach out and communicate with other people. Don't ask for, you know, endorsements on things you don't know. You know, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses and have people endorse the skills that you're really good at. Another great thing is showcasing your projects and media. LinkedIn allows you to showcase your projects, presentations, articles, media to highlight your experience further. Take advantage of this to uh, take advantage of this feature by adding relevant documentation and links that demonstrate your skills and accomplishments. This section right here, this project section, you can see I didn't really go into great detail on these projects. I linked to the, the project. But I didn't really dive deep and talk about what I did in that project. I have a really brief description here. This is not what you want your project section to look like. I'm showing you what not to do. So hopefully you guys can learn and we'll kind of dive into this more as we start reviewing your LinkedIn profiles. By the way, if you are interested in getting your LinkedIn profile looked at and reviewed here live on the stream, there is a link down in the description. You'll fill out a quick little form and we'll go over that your profile for completely free here live on the stream. All right. Now, one of the most important things, and I think the best thing for LinkedIn is active engagement and networking. LinkedIn is a place to network with your peers. So many times into the tech field, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And sometimes just knowing someone or being um, acquainted, you know, being connected on LinkedIn, when that hiring manager goes to look you up and kind of see what you're all about, they're gonna look at your LinkedIn profile. They're gonna say, oh, look, I'm already connected to this person. I must have some previous conversation with them or i might know them or better yet when you're applying for a job figure out who the hiring manager is reach out to him on linkedin and say hello i just applied for this position please let me know if there's any other information i can clarify or if you'd like to know more about my history just start that natural conversation don't be like very forceful and like hounding it down their throat but have that natural conversation with people if you're not currently looking for a job, start networking with your peers, start talking to other people in the tech field. If you're, I mean, I'm assuming you're looking for a job in the tech field since you're here, but you know, it's, it's a great place. It's a great networking platform and it's so beneficial to just communicate with other people that share similar interests. Now there's a couple different things you can do like publish, um, make articles and publish and talk about your experience in the field. And you can do that actually. A lot of people aren't aware of this, but when you go into LinkedIn, you can write an article. Now, a lot of people say, hey, you know, I wanna create a blog or so-and-so. Um, I want a way to showcase my stuff, but I don't wanna create a website and stuff. You can actually turn your LinkedIn into your own personal blog and create articles about what you're doing in the tech. It's a great way to document and showcase your experience and skills. Get back to my profile here. Now that leads me into my next tip for you guys is volunteer experience and causes. LinkedIn can be a great community to get behind different causes. And really, if you have any experience in the field, maybe possibly mentor others. Um, it's a, again, it goes all back to being a great networking platform and 
you really can start communicating. There's tons of groups in LinkedIn, which is makes it really good to talk to different people. Um, you, you can see, you know, I'm, I'm in several of these different groups here and it's, it's just, you strike up these amazing conversations with people that you've maybe would never even have talked to before. One of my most favorite groups is, is uh, KevTech's community, entry level, junior IT developer and cybersecurity community. His community is jam packed full of people looking to help each other out and just trying to level up everyone's experience. Now, one final tip I have for you guys is checking your profile privacy. So if you go into your profile and you go into settings and privacy, Hopefully I'm not going to show something here that you're not supposed to see, but you can, you need to make sure your visibility over here is set properly. So important people can see your profile. You're going to want to go through all these settings here because LinkedIn is very customizable and you can do a vast variety of different customizations with it. So. With that said, I'm going to go through any questions that came in the chat really quick, and then we're going to dive right on into our profile reviews. How's everyone doing this evening? Greetings and happy, fabulous Friday. Awesome. Hello, sir. I filled out the form. Can I expect uh, my profile to be reviewed? Yes. Do you have to be in creator mode to write an article? You know, I am not sure. I don't believe so anymore. I do believe it used to be that way, but I do believe they've changed that. I know my personal pro profile, I am in creator mode, uh, but I also write articles for a couple other businesses um, and have no problem with that. So I'd have to do some research. Is LinkedIn a premium necessary for the profile to be paired up with many others? Um, are you talking about like the premium level uh, LinkedIn has? Not necessarily. Um, I don't pay for LinkedIn premium. Um, so I don't think that's absolutely necessary. Looks like the chat's showing up twice here. That's weird. Let me see if I can fix that. I don't know how that chat is showing up twice there. That is weird. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> I have another TV up over here. So, all right. So let's go ahead and dive into our very first profile review. We have Holden Weber here. This is actually a very nice, clean and organized profile. Uh, I took a brief look at it earlier. He's got a, a really nice profile picture. It's a little bit re low resolution to be 100% honest with you. I'd recommend something just a little bit sharper, crisper, professional looking. Has a... A nice image up here. I I feel though this is some missed out real estate opportunity where instead of just having a nice picture here, you could actually have some more details, um, you know, throw some text in there about what you do, what you're looking for. Uh, excellent he uh, headline here, you know, student at uh, college here, uh, computer networking and system administration is what you're studying, which is great. Uh, I see you have your about section filled out very nicely. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog barking in the background. Um, experience, cable technician, line cook, customer service. One good recommendation I have, I like you have your skills tied in here to your experience, but definitely need some more information, a job description about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. This would definitely be, this is a missed opportunity, I feel. Excellent, I love you that you have your certifications here linked, um, showing your different IT certifications, your volunteer work, you have skills endorsed, you even have recommendations. This is, I think, a really nice profile. There's a couple changes I would recommend. First big thing is what I do is in your experience here, definitely fill this information out. Definitely put it in as much information as possible. There's several things that will do for you. It will one, help you get found easier because those keywords in search will help other people find you if you're looking for a job or at least connect with your peers. And two, when people come to your profile, like a potential hiring manager, they'll get a little bit more information about your background. So 
other than that, I think you have a top notch profile. Uh, let me double check. Did you have any questions? Nope. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to our next profile here. We have Cliff. Uh, question is, uh, I was made redundant. How can I best place myself so I'm open to freelance work while looking for a new job? Thank you. Uh, that's interesting. You know, one of the best ways you can talk about that, um, like that you're open to freelance, is right here in your your title summary. Um, you can just blatantly say that. Um, I do believe there's also a way in settings you can change it so that you are act open open to um job opportunities or i think there's even an open to freelancing option let's take a look here i don't remember quite where that is mention notification share i'll have to look that up again Yep, I'm not too sure off the top of my head. Anywho, let's go ahead and dive on into your profile right here. So this is a, a new feature LinkedIn's uh, just recently incorporated is this video that plays on load. Uh, you know, I think that's a great opportunity. It doesn't look like I'm having trouble with my sound here. I'm not hearing it in my speakers. So I apologize if this plays any um, noise that's super loud or anything. But, um, you know, this is a, a great profile here. Header is simple. Again, I think this is, there's, there's a couple of things. One, the content creator in me says the dark colors here, they, they conflict, like they contrast too much with the white around it. I would go through something lighter here. Again, this is like a prime real estate for to market yourself. Really, your marketing stuff, it's a sales game. You're trying to trying to think of a way to say this without making it sound too bad, but you're selling yourself to, you know, why you should be picked to be hired for this job. So I think there's an opportunity to throw some great information about yourself or what you're looking for up here. Moving on down. Looks like you have an about section here. Now I'm going to warn people, I'm going to warn you guys about filling out a really long about section. A lot of times, anyone who's really looking into this, like a hiring manager or a recruiter or anything, they're going to skim up through these first couple sent uh, sentences. They might not even click the read more. So make sure all the juicy information is right there up at the top. And I would just try to avoid making this about section too long. It should be like a paragraph to two at most. Um, just a quick, simple read, because I can almost guarantee you no job seeker, no hiring manager or recruiter is going to read this entire thing. So just a little bit of word of advice there. Experience. This is filled out beautifully. Look at all these skills you have tied to each job. You have a nice description tied to each job. Simple description, one paragraph, maybe two at most. You know, these are very nicely filled out. You have all the pertinent information, your job titles in here and everything. Compliments on filling out your um, experience section. Moving on, education filled out very nicely and professionally. I like this. You have other licenses and certifications filled out. It shows you have your, you have 15 certifications. Look at this. This is awesome. This is great information to have it all right there. You have your skills endorsed. You have recommendations. You have uh, your interests selected there, but this is a very nice profile. I think just with a few little tweaks, you know, maybe shortening up that about section, changing this header. I think you have a great opportunity here. The other thing I see that comes to mind is this, your, your title section here. It's a bit long. Um, you know, I, I think you should decide to go with one or the other. You should either go with your job titles here or your statements, like your, your mission statement. 
um if it's me personally i i would this is the only section i would keep i'd get rid of this right here um this is for this would be great down in like the first sentence of your about you know your about you say uh, section that's what i would recommend so awesome if you guys have any questions along the way i'm keeping an eye on chat as well so i'll be answering them as we go moving on to the next profile i apologize i am horrible with names i'm not gonna even try to pronounce your name i feel so bad sometimes let's see uh you didn't have any questions so let's go ahead and just dive right on in really like this profile um a nice profile image here one thing i'd recommend is a lot of people go for centering their face right in the middle of the image really your face should be up towards the top of the the, the photo and this should be this should be zoomed in you could it won't let me do that but anyways you could pretty much crop this photo down around yourself and have the top of the photo right above your head this would just draw the it would make it look like a lot more professional photo i love your your header image this is what i'm talking about here you know you have your name offensive security red and red teaming this is a great example of a very nice header image you know one recommendation i would have and I'm, I'm, this is not necessarily a complaint but you know take a look at your header image and when it's actually loaded in here you can see that part of the, your you know the s right here is being cut off by this if you were just to slide this up slightly maybe make this text a little bit long uh, larger it'd be a lot more readable and viewer friendly i love your um your headline your head header here uh, not header but the headline here um your your um gosh i'm losing my words today you have it filled out very uh, nicely here your about section let's take a look at that it's a little long but not bad you get right to the point about you know that you're a first year student at a computer engineering major uh at university i think this is a great about me section experiences again i feel like you're missing a great opportunity about filling out what this program is girls who code uh, girls who code i've heard of this before but I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's all about. Tell me what this is about. You know, I know, you know, you can click on this and go into more detail, but your average hiring manager recruiter is not gonna go into that. If you could just give them a few brief sentences talking about what it is, that will go a definitely a long way. So education, got that filled out. You have your volunteer work, which is great. That goes a long way. Especially when it's industry related, cybersecurity awareness volunteering. This is this is awesome to have. You have all your certifications listed. Beautiful, perfect. I, I love it. You have your skills then endorsed. You have a recommendation. Very good. Now I'd say overall, you know, maybe a little bit cleaning up of your about section and fill out your experiences a lot more. I think you'd have a really great profile here awesome let's see at random dude i have premium and as far as i can tell it's just a few it's just a few little qol things you can message people that aren't connected and who you can, and you can see who views you you know uh yes um there's a little bit more um your you, the visibility changes to uh recruiters and stuff um you get a little bit of extra resources you get apply for jobs earlier sometimes um definitely if you are seriously active about applying for a job premium is well worth it all right um lewis my man he's actually been on the channel before awesome to see you questions you have is how do you improve or how, how to improve it how do you want how to improve it let's see you have a perfect photo this is what i'm talking about what i was just talking about on that last profile the face takes up the upper half of the photo you just see from the chest up um, this is a really nice professionally taken photo header image it's, it's not bad it's basic i love it's a i think it's a it's a missed opportunity that people don't take advantage of 
Um, I think you could put some more information in here, what your goals and ambitions for. Every day is a chance to better yourself. I like that. You know, it's simple. Um, it's, it's a double-edged sword there. I, it's, it's great, but there's also a missed opportunity to talk about your skills and experience um, or what you're striving to become. So I, I'm not going to knock it because I, I like it. But on the same hand, if you're super like motivated to get a new job, that's, I think, a missed opportunity there. A nice, simple about section, though. It's one paragraph, like two or two or three sentences, and you just dive right into it. I, you have five years in various IT roles, including help desk and system operations center analysis, former networking and security admin. Perfect. Experience. This is a, a nice experience um, you have here. You have your different, the different skills you worked on. You know, I would, I would again, try not to leave your different uh, jobs blank here you know what you actually did the descriptions blank but it looks like on your other jobs you have it really well filled in certifications are all right here you have your skills here it doesn't look like you have any endorsed yet but you know that's okay you're just starting out in the field well not necessarily started out but there's room for improvement there and uh it doesn't look like you have any recommendations yet but that's also okay that's something you can work on all in all, a very nice profile here. I think just a few tweaks to it, uh, maybe updating this header image and changing the uh, headline here. I think you'd you'd have makings for a great profile. Uh, let's see. Jump back to some questions here. Mine sucks right now. I'm not getting jobs right now. Uh, restored is is it in the profile? Is it in the queue here? We'll take a look at it tell you what to change premium help clears up who uh who looked at your profile unless they're hiding such information like your uh as being a recruiter premium also gives you access to linkedin learning which includes some certification training videos absolutely keep the about simple section simple got it absolutely no it doesn't need to be super elaborate just a simple just a simple paragraph here will do all right don't be afraid to use canva for, don't forget to enable a uh, feature section add your certifications uh on the features so the hiring managers uh can see this same with the github and labs absolutely canva is a great tool for uh creating this header image this header image right here um and they have a free version as well uh kev tech you are amazing rockstar if you guys don't follow kev tech yet you should go definitely go check them out uh, let's see veterans can get linkedin premium for free that's interesting good to know all right let's go ahead and move on to our next profile here we have jim let me see if jim has any questions I'd like to be able to apply, uh, I'd like to be able to apply info, other roles and networking and possibly sysadmin. Not sure if I can convert some of my experience towards these goals. Well, let's take a look here. I'd like to be able to apply intro other roles. <laughs> Sorry, I read that wrong. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at your profile here. So first off the bat we've been talking about it all night there's zero header that's just the default header image no header image huge missed opportunity was this taken on a flip phone i'm like this isn't a linkedin profile roast but it kind of is come on this looks like it was taken on a flip phone you know i've seen potatoes take better pictures <laughs> but anyways get this profile picture updated you know it does it just use the cell phone in your pocket unless it's you use it to take this photo the cell phone in your pocket takes great photos have someone just snap a quick picture of you in a nice shirt but uh you know get a nice profile image a lot of times people are coming to linkedin like recruiters and hiring managers to get a sense of who you are and they're gonna see this and be like wow does this person not own a nice camera or something do they not care enough to go take a nice photo 
just something to consider i do like your headline here you got uh your, your where you currently work corrections uh comptia ciso no sales soliciting please you know I, I i don't like this on here i understand what you're doing on here because a lot of times you can get a lot of spam and junk here on linkedin but this is not a place for it uh, i i would definitely remove that here so about section whoa these skills and specialties do not belong up here i'm just gonna tell you all this all this here this whole section here needs to be down in let's see if you have skills needs to be down here this needs to be down in your skills section you don't need to have it repeated twice up here get rid of this whole section and connect on linkedin okay <laughs> that's not necessary come on come on now I, I get rid of this and honestly i get rid of your personal information in here too this needs to be a story about yourself you're telling a story here about where you've been and where you want to go all right experience i like this it looks like you have certain certifications that you've uploaded images of um that you've got at that job not bad you, you at least got your experience section filled out looks like quite nicely you have your education here looks like you've done a lot of linkedin certifications a lot of linda stuff not bad projects network college a closet cleanup be great if you had a photo in here you have your personal website looks like you could use some work but it's there it's something you got your skills and they're endorsed you got a recommendation from west brian jim is a very diligent person you got some a-list recommendations in here i like it did you work for it pro tv I'm curious now. It looks like you've held quite a few jobs. Now, interesting. So I think I've given you quite a few things to update here. Let's see, are you in the chat? Nope, doesn't look like it, so. I was a student. Oh, there you are, James Barry. You're you were a student when West was coming up. That's awesome. So I'm gonna recap it here for you. Get a new photo here. Fill, get a create a custom header here. Lose the no sales uh, soliciting because that's just gonna put off um, recruiters and other people. Clean up your about section. Get rid of all these skills here. You have them listed down in your skills below and actually put a, a, a story together about yourself so people know who you are and why you do what you do. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Let's see here. Okay, again, I am horrible with names, guys. I am so sorry. Un I cannot pronounce your name. I am so sorry. I'm not going to try. But anyways, uh, you have a question here. I'm struggling to get a job in cybersecurity. As a fresher, how uh, to get a job in the industry? What are the ch uh, changes I need to do for my LinkedIn profile to get selected? Well, let's take a look here. Um, first of all, you have your open to work uh, turned on. You have a nice he headshot uh, profile image. Looks great. Absolutely like it. You know, you, you have something other than the default header image, so I'll give you points for that. Um, I, I feel like I keep on repeating myself, but I wanna make sure this point is clear. This is prime real estate, your header image up here. This is prime real estate to talk about yourself and to showcase 
who you are and what you do uh, it's just another opportunity to ingrain that into people that are coming by and it's flashy you know your eye is drawn to it um so utilize this space your headline here is filled out quite nicely uh penetration tester tester ethical hacker uh certified ethical hacker uh, the only recommendation i have is this is a bit long you know um you might consider what you want to remove and just have your uh, key skills on there but it's not bad come down to no about section what come on now definitely need to get an about section in here let's see oh here it is this about section should be up at top um let's see not bad um you know i can't complain too much this section here though it's a little redundant i think you should remove that and stick it down in the your the education and certification section experience ctf player you know that's not a bad thing to have up here um i don't know if it belongs there though there could be another spot for that you can put that under let's see if you have anything in your projects that'd be great for in your project section where you can go into a little bit more uh, depth about what you've done uh, i know you it looks like you have it here that needs to be in your project section it shouldn't be in your experience um i know it is experience but experience is really meant i think for job experience so sorry i just realized i'm not like I'm, fall, I'm sliding off to the side here. All right, uh, education, right here. You got that filled out. You have your CEH in here. You have your projects in here. I think this would be a great place to put your uh, hack the box information. You have your skills here. Perfect, this, this looks great. So first of all, first recommendation move this about section up to the top should be one of the first things people see about you and if they're that interested in you you don't want to make them go searching for it like i had to update your header image here and you know change your experience around here remove this put that down your projects i think you you have a decent profile here i think you just kind of need to flush it out a little bit more uh you know uh, i think you are you're on the right path i, I see what you're trying to do see how many followers do you have 700 followers 500 plus connections you know the other thing you use you know start reaching out to uh, people join some groups start getting active in different communities out there um that would be my recommendation read info on the header absolutely you know the header is a really great opportunity to market yourself um you know it's just like on I, I view it the same way as i view my youtube channel i'm gonna go ahead and pull this up here so this is a great example it would help if you guys could see it this is a great example of what a linkedin profile header could look like my what i am trying to do is clear you know right in front of you it success made simple that is my whole goal here and this would be a great uh linkedin profile header you don't need your photo of yourself up here that's redundant but make it eye-catching you know you let people again it's it's just like another marketing opportunity to market your skills and yourself okay let's go ahead and move on to the next profile here all right we have james next james do you have any questions nope okay so let's go ahead and dive right on in so james nice profile photo little re low resolution here looks like you may have taken this uh like in your house or something which is not necessarily a bad thing but um again what i recommend have your face take up the top half of the the image up here 
and then you know your upper body in the second half uh not so zoomed in on your face try to use a little bit higher resolution camera so it doesn't look so pixelated um this, that can be you don't have to go out and get professional headshots use your cell phone cell phones take great photos so definitely it's not that hard to do you can definitely do that easy let's take a look here no header image it's just the default there definitely again room for improvement you have a nice simple headline your project engineer um that looks great there about section is right here up at the top key skills again key skills they should be down in your skills section you don't need to have this up here or work this into your job experience um and when you're talking about the description of your, the jobs you've been working at that's a great section for that there so all this is all that your about section should be just two simple paragraphs about who you are what you do and why you like doing it experience I like that you see that you have a description on each one of these jobs. The length of this description really doesn't matter here. This is where you could go haywire, I believe. Um, you know, having a simple one to two paragraphs is great. If you really feel that you did a lot of stuff at that job, this is an opportunity to talk about it here. You have your education in here. You have, I see you have your certifications, which is great skills are endorsed by quite a few people that's uh, always a good thing to see because you know when you have those skills endorsed people are like you, you could anyone could put anything in that skill section when you have it endorsed by several people um employers realize that you're not just saying these things or lying about it you have other people backing it up and then on top of that you have your recommendations you've gotten seven recommendations that's awesome um, that's really great uh, thing to have in there you have your courses listed I, I think you have a nice profile and i think where you're missing the mark here is this top section here i it's again i i go back to my youtube experience you got to hook those people in in the first couple of seconds otherwise they're not going to be interested they're not going to go forward with it anymore um you know and the profile is the same way you have like three seconds at most to make a good impression on on a potential recruiter or hiring manager if they just come here and they don't immediately see what they're looking for they're just going to click off they're going to go to the next candidate so you really need to wow them and catch their attention right at the very top of your linkedin profile so having a nice header a really clean profile picture and a nice about section right all up there at top Maybe also look into including some hashtags up here of different things you're following, different trends, what interests you the most. That's how you're going to hook these people in to get them to come down here and see what you're all about. See what experiences you have, what skills, your recommendations. To get them to come down this far in the page, you gotta convince them up here. If they don't see what they like up here, they're not gonna wanna scroll down. All right. Next profile, moving on. Wow, it's already been 45 minutes. We're probably gonna go for another 15 minutes or so. So if we don't get to your profile here, we'll definitely get to it the next time we do one of these. Uh, but if you haven't dropped your profile in, definitely now's the time to do it. Great information. Thank you, uh, KevTech. All right. So, going up the next profile here, we have Collins, who has a really nice profile picture. It looks really nice, to be honest with you. It looks great down here, but definitely I think it should be a little bit higher resolution here. Um, it's, the, the portions are correct though. You know, what I was saying about having, you know, the top half of the image should be your face, and then the bottom half should be your upper body in a nicely, dressed um whatever you're trying to go for you know if you're trying to go for a nice professional management job definitely you're going to want to dress up a little bit more like this individual and if you're just looking for a basic tech job you know um, a polo shirt is fine maybe a button-up shirt that looks great as well so all right so missing the header image i think i've hounded that into you guys enough that the header image is prime real estate this is like 
I, I really think this is becoming one of the most important things on a LinkedIn profile. Again, I, I, I've just got done saying this, but this is a great marketing opportunity for you. You have your certifications under here, which is great. Now, I'm curious, are you currently working in tech? It doesn't look like you're currently working in tech, so just having your certifications up here is perfectly fine. This is a perfectly acceptor um, headline right up here. Um, let's see, do you have an about section? No about section. Um, so that's definitely a room for improvement. Um, definitely you should fill out your about section. One to two paragraphs talking about who you are and what your ambitions are. Um, Cause I can see, you know, you have, you know, your AC 900, every A plus, um, SC 900. I, it's not clear what you're trying to accomplish, where, what you want to be in the IT field, just from this top section. Without an about section, it's, it's difficult to know. Um, you have your education, you have your certifications, you have your skills down here. Let's take a look at your skills here. So on LinkedIn, you can have up to 50 skills. And to, again, don't lie in your skill section, but there's an opportunity here to put the different skills you have. Now, I know you have your A+, plus, you, you got your AZ-900, you have to have more skills than the, what is listed here. This is an opportunity to fill this section out. And if you've now worked with anyone in the community that knows you and knows that you have these skills, ask them to give you endorsements on them. Also, those people can also help write you a recommendation as well. So I think you got some, some work here to do. Not a bad profile though, you're on the right track. All right, let's go ahead and just keep this rolling on to the next one, Mark. Mark, this is an interesting header. At least you have something up here in your header. Um, and I and I know you're very proud of your diploma here, but this should be you. This 100% should be you up here. If anything, flop them. Put your diploma up in the header and the profile picture should always be a face of you. Uh, because when a lot of people are just scrolling, like they're searching for your name. They're gonna see this diploma and not know it's you. Um, so put your face here, put your diploma up here somehow, maybe do a little bit of graphic design in like Canva or even paint. Uh, you can use paint. Um, the head headline here, man, man, uh, definitely room to put something like, um, you know, what your goals and aspirations are. You have an about section, so I'm gonna give you props on that. You know, you love technology. I wanna know everything about it. Um, you know, you have a great, um, you have a well filled out about section. All right, diving into your experiences. Definitely an opportunity on here. It looks like you don't have a description on almost any of these um, previous jobs. And that's an opportunity to fill that information out, kind of flush that out, give them a little bit more background in, of what you actually did. Again, I see, you know, you have your diploma here. This is a great spot for that. Um, that took me back, hold on. You know, this is this is where you should have that information. You have your A plus. Looks like you only have 11 skills. And like I was just saying, this is a place where fill out all 50 skills. They give you 50 skills, use them all. You know, um, I know you have more skills than this if you got your A plus at least by now. So fill that out in here. And it looks like that's about it. So there are some definitely major rooms for improvement on this profile. Um, you know, change up this header though. You gotta do that. Let's see. Uh, need more information on the headline. Absolutely, KevTech is right about that. You fix the banner and the profile should be good to go. Uh, use it based on your resume to create uh, your headline. Absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next. And MD, gosh, I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if you have any questions in here. No questions. Uh, I like this header. This is a nice header. This is what I've been looking for, you guys. Um, you have your name, you have, you know, just some stock image here. Uh, the doors will be open to those who are bold enough to knock. I like that. 
I feel there's a missed opportunity here though to talk about some of your skills a little bit or your ambitions or where you are in your path um but i like this header image photo looks like you took it in a bathroom not gonna lie not a bad photo but definitely could go uh do something better here um you know doesn't take much to take a nice photo now guys you know you would be like you wouldn't believe the quality camera you have right here in your pocket you can take some really amazing photos here. Um, and I, I think you're just missing out on that opportunity. So not bad about suction. So I've seen other people do this before thinking it's going to be like eye catchy and stuff with the, the little um, emojis and stuff. And it's, it's I don't know it doesn't feel professional there's a place for this and it's not here on your linkedin profile this should be like a paragraph you're telling a story here um bullet points are great but definitely get rid of the emojis it just i know what you're trying to do you're trying to draw attention to each one of these but um it just doesn't come across as professional so that's that's a big thing i would change right away experience if this is the only job you've ever had, that's fine. Uh, but this only shows three years of experience ever in your life, you know, and yes, it might not be experience of what you're looking to get, but you know, at least put something there. Like this shows you have customer service skills or something. Um, unless this is the only experience you've ever had, um, that's understandable, but you know, fill that section out a lot more. I like that you have all your education. Your education section looks like it's filled out perfectly. You got your certifications in here. You have filled out your projects, skills. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I think your about section's holding you back here. If I was a recruiter and I saw this, I'd be like, I, I don't know. I'd be, it'd just be a little bit off-putting, um, I think. Um, uh, again, I know what you're trying to do. I've done it. I mean, if you look in the description of this video, it's similar, but I'm not trying to be like market myself to other job recruiters in my YouTube videos. I'm trying to market myself to people. Um, you know, the average Joe, um, this should be a nice professional write-up about yourself. So, all right, let's go ahead and go to chat. See if I've missed any questions. Thank you for doing this. Absolutely. Thanks for the uh, advice and changes. The changes already made. Awesome, James. Let's see how many more of you have. We have seven more. All right, let's grab a couple here and take a look here. We'll keep going. All right. Question, sir, I need your opinion on my profile and suggest some goodies uh, tips to improve it. All righty. First of all, you gotta get, like, this is a very nice headshot, but it is so dark. When it is shrunk down, it's really hard to even make out your face. Um, so definitely, while this is a nice professional photo and it's very artistic, um, it just doesn't scream professional tech environment, enterprise type environment. You need something where it's clear to make out your face. You can see the whites in your eyes. You know, you're dressed in a nice clothing. I mean, even the clothes you're wearing might be fine here. This is not a place for a black and white photo. Follow your heart. I love that. Again, missed opportunity though. You're marketing yourself. This is, this is like... This is almost like dating. Okay, guys, you, you know, you, you're trying to pique the interest of your hiring manager, though. Uh, you know, you're trying to show yourself off. This is the only impression you got to make. You got to make it right. Uh, so have a good photo of yourself. Uh, you know, make your profile look nice and clean. You know, a lot of people out there put more effort, I think, into their dating profiles than they do into their LinkedIn profiles. Um, you know, uh, but definitely, um, you know, 
change up your header image and your profile image. That's the first thing that catches my eye. Your headline here, too long. Uh, when I see a headline go beyond two, two lines here, I think it's too long. In all honesty, I don't think it should go past this first line here. It should be kept simple. Let's take a look here. I'll show you what mine looks like again. I have a simple one line. I, I'm, I have two different things I'm advertising here. I'm a director of network operations. I'm the host of the bearded IT dad. It's simple. Yes, I have certifications and other stuff like that. Keep it simple. Just keep it simple. All right. Let's take a look here. About section. Nice, simple, one paragraph. I like it. This, this could suffice. Experience. Hack the box. Try hack me. Like, you know, if you don't have on the job experience, that's, I understand why you put this here, but I think this should, this stuff is not a job. Experience should be a job. This stuff should be down in your projects section where you talk about what you do, where you talk about the, what you're doing to learn these skills, such as using hack the box, try hack me and stuff like this. This is your job section to talk about your experience. If any of you have, um, and it, again, it doesn't have to be tech related experience. It could be just flipping burgers at McDonald's and talk about your customer service experience there. Soft skills are huge in the tech field. Skills, you only got seven skills here. If you're doing things such as hack the box and you have certifications and stuff, I know you got more than seven skills to list. Utilize that area. Honors and awards, I like it. Yeah, so you don't have any projects listed. Move this down into the project section and then write more information. Rank top 1%, that's great. Rank hacker. Okay, I just see the rank hacker. If I haven't used hack the box before, I don't know what that means. That, that just could mean your average Joe Smo. You're the basic, you know, to say why that rank is so good. Let's talk about the different um, hacks and vulnerabilities you've used on hack the box in your project section. Uh, I just saw a, a chat come through here that I wanna highlight. Yes, leverage your soft skills. Doesn't matter if you worked at McDonald's. Soft skills are so underrated. Uh, learn how to talk about it. This is huge, guys. You know, I, I I just did a video talking about like how certifications won't land you a job. Certifications, I call the certifications are useless. Certifications do not equal experience. Experience doesn't have to be, uh, you know, experience doesn't have to be tech experience experience could be soft skills experience could be communication skills where do you pick up those communication skills working in customer service for fast food joints for a restaurant for a retail store in a grocery store those customer service skills are huge because soft skills is some of the most important skills you'll have in tech um the biggest thing is like I can teach you the hard skills. I can teach you how to reset a PC. I can teach you how to fix this printer. I can't teach you how to be a good team player and how to communicate with your peers and make them feel valued. I can't teach you how to do that. That's something you gotta kinda learn on your own. So soft skills are so important to highlight. I learned a lot working in grocery stores. Good and not how to do it, absolutely. Uh, soft skills are key in IT. I can teach hard skills. Soft skills are more challenging. Absolutely. I put customer service. Uh, I put all my customer service roles in my profile. Excellent. All right. We're going to start wrapping up the screen stream here. If I didn't get to your profile, I apologize. We'll definitely get to it uh, next time. We're definitely going to do a lot more of these. If you guys like them, let me know in the chat. Do you want to have us to do uh, more of these LinkedIn profile reviews reviews? And if you guys have any questions at all, uh, drop them in the chat and I will definitely try to answer all of them. But yeah, soft skills are huge in the tech field. There are some of the most important things and skills you can have. So, and like I said, if you get, yes, more please. If you guys didn't get your profile review today, don't worry, you'll be at the top of the list next time. Um, 
you know i'm gonna start to uh, pick up these streams again once a week uh friday nights um i'm probably gonna do try to do these streams every friday night but yeah so awesome well guys thank you so much for joining me um if you haven't already make sure to hit the thumbs up that really helps this video get found and hey if you are interested we just opened up some group career coaching sessions we hold so on the first wednesday of every month we're going to hold a group career coaching session where i bring in some industry experts to talk about different skills and resources to use to level up your it career that we're going to open up to an exclusive q a video chat where you can ask both me and the uh, guests i bring on the show questions on how you can advance your career and land that next level job that you're looking for. So the links down in the description, it's actually only $25 a month we're doing right now. Um, and it's, it's a huge resource. We actually only have 50 seats available and we've already had people signing up. So if you're interested in signing up for some group career coaching, um, it's a lot cheaper than the one-on-one -on -one career coaching we've been offering. And it's a great opportunity to learn great skills and really advance yourself into your next job role so awesome all righty well guys i really appreciate you guys taking the time i hope you enjoyed the stream and until next time keep learning